welcome back to the Hood Goddess Journey. I'm your host, Ducerella, the Hood Goddess, and I'm here today to give y'all some messages that I received this morning for myself, and I'm being guided to share those messages because somebody somewhere out there may be having these same issues or difficulties in their life so I'm here to help you out I <laughs> I'm here to help you you know do this thing we in this together all right so if you see me looking down I'm looking down at my notes so I don't miss anything I am going to do a collective message after this so stick around if you want to get some more messages from spirit all right so First things first, I want to say I have discovered this amazing woman. Her name is Tabitha Brown. I watched several of her videos yesterday on YouTube and I watched a video that she posted at the beginning of the year, of this year, and I watched it this morning. and. It has some messages in there pertaining to going vegan and her testimony to why she went vegan. Um, it has some other messages in, in there that I needed for myself. So I will post, I will put in the description box that exact video, the link to the video that I watched. She's amazing. All right. So going back to the vegan talk. I I wanted to start this journey at the beginning of the year and I did for like a week or two weeks and then some shit happened in my life to where I went back to eating meat um but now I'm going to get back into doing the vegan thing changing my lifestyle because I feel like it's very important and it's a very important piece of my life you know changing what I eat how I eat um, what I do with my body you know I want to be more in, con in control of how I want my emotions and feelings and stuff to go because if you think about it, sometimes the meat and stuff that you eat, well, majority of times the meat and stuff that you eat has a counter effect on your emotions, like depression and all that stuff. You gotta like look into it. I'm not a health guru, but I just know that's not what I want to put in my body anymore so this week is the last week that I'm clearing all the meat out of my house for me to eat so I'm going to do this thing that doesn't mean I'm going to give up everything cold turkey because it's things that I'm still going to I won't say have an issue doing because I'm trying to change my wordplay on how I say things because the way you say things can affect how your outcome will be trying different things or doing different things or you know being around different people you know depending on what you're speaking of but I am going to get back into the to a healthier lifestyle um I also want to talk about staying consistent make sure you're being consistent in things because I know I'm having I had I'm gonna put that in the past now I had a problem with staying consistent on doing videos, posting videos, putting content on 
social media but I am changing that and moving forward and will be posting a video every day I don't care how I feel if I ain't feeling too good I ain't feeling too well then y'all just gonna know all right and some of y'all may be in that same energy but we're gonna get to it together because we we a family we are family okay i don't want to sing the whole song but anyway we a family and we're gonna get to this together all right so make sure we stand consistent on the things that we want in our lives because it's only one way you're gonna get what you deserve and that's by getting out of your comfort zone and that's one one message i got twice today from two different people one from tabitha and then another reader well she's tabitha's not a reader but a reader that does the twin flame journey she talked about getting out of your comfort zone on her live this morning um i will have her link to her channel on there she does very great twin flame readings she's the truth all right she's the truth and i i appreciate her because when i was in her live today and i was you know talking or what well typing <laughs> and i was typing i had said some things and she kind of corrected me not in a negative way twice on some things and i it kept me on my it kept me on my toes um as far as like how i how i word things and that's one thing i want to share with you guys today too make sure you're speaking positivity in your life and not using negative wordplay in your speech because that negative wordplay is basically stirring up a negative outcome because if you say something's going to be a challenge then you're already telling yourself it's going to be difficult you get what I'm saying so please make sure you're monitoring what you're saying and how you're saying or doing things oh ups <laughs> um also also i want to talk about making sure you are being your authentic self always 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 be yourself in whatever you do no matter if you're doing the same thing as someone else make sure you make it your own make sure you aren't comparing or trying to compete because if you compare and compete you won't get the outcome that you think you will get you won't get the same outcome as them because they're being their authentic self while you're just trying to be a certain way a certain image that's not you so make sure you are being your authentic self and you are staying true to yourself and being true to the things that you know makes you who you are all right you guys with that being said we're gonna get into this collective reading i hope those messages help don't forget to check out tabitha brown and her channel in the video that i got in the link below and the twin fame flame family channel as well all of those links will be all of those links <laughs> will be in the description box below so check it out all right let's get into this collective reading all right 
let's get into this wonderful message that I know spirit has for us today got my joints if you got one light it up because we about to you know get a great message I can already feel it all right it's a wonderful and magnificent day so we should make the most of it you guys all right we're gonna start with this deck right here and look at the bottom new beginnings this was at the bottom of the last video I made if you remember if you've seen that video my last message to the collective new beginnings we have new beginnings coming for us okay they're right there so if you thinking about quitting don't all right if you thinking about quitting don't keep pushing stay motivated we getting through this thing together Spirit, what message do you have for the collective? Excuse the background. It may be called duty playing in the background. I don't know. Just remember, I have life going on around me. What message do you have for the collective? All right, spirit is saying to step into your power. Be patient with yourself and be patient with what you got going on in your life. Don't be afraid to go within to figure out what those things is that you need to fix, what you need to release. Go within. All right, let's get another card. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with others. They're going through their own journey as well. <laughs> Assess the situation. Make sure you're crossing your T's and dotting your I's and making sure you're removing anything that's hindering you from that growth. What else you got, spirit? <laughs> Nourish your body, your mind, and your spirit. Take care of yourself. You can only worry about yourself. You can only control the things that have to do with you. If it's a situation, if it's a, a problem that is out of your hands, then just worry about you. Nourish your mind, your um, mind, body, and spirit. I split the deck. You got balance. Balance things out. And don't forget that you are protected. Spirit is already there. And ready and waiting for you to ask what, what you need. Ask for what you need. Get ready to help and provide the assistance that you need in your life. So don't be afraid. Don't let that... Let, extreme situations extreme things negative habits negative thoughts negative people stop you from being grounded stay grounded keep yourself grounded right <laughs> and look what's at the bottom new beginnings 
we're gonna keep that right there i knew i should have just left it but i say you know what it's all right spirit said we got new beginnings on the way i'm gonna just let that sit take that energy in y'all and protection is on the bottom and you got trust right underneath that and then you have the path right underneath that and then you have purity right underneath that and then you have beauty so see the beauty in all things around you the path is clear for you take that leap of faith all right you are on the right path you are taking the necessary steps needed you just got to tweak some things, all right? You just got to figure it out and just trust that spirit is protecting you, that your higher power is protecting you, that your higher self is guiding you to where you want to be in life, who, to where you're becoming who you are meant to be and who you are. let that sink in y'all we got these new beginnings we just got to be patient we can't rush things we can't force changes to happen when you try to force things that's when things stop that's when you start to resist that change when you try to force things to happen it doesn't happen the way you want it to because you're not giving it time you know time is non-existent but you got to know, you got to know that you have to surrender to things that you can't control because if you try to control the outcome or control how you want things to happen, it will never happen because life don't work like, like that. I was listening to a song this morning by Travis Scott called Stop, Stop Trying to Be God. You can't be God. You can't be the creator because the creator is the creator. The creator created you. You can't be some. You can't be what created you. All right. You can only be obedient and walk the path you was meant to walk. Like I said, be your authentic self and don't let anything that might bring some heat. Or might bring some some I won't say challenges because nothing is a challenge unless you want it to be a challenge all right but don't let extreme situations these tests I'm gonna call them tests don't let these tests get you off your 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 path to success to this new beginning to these new opportunities to everything that you want all right There's no need. Alright. Let's go to. Let's see how the collective is feeling. I'm going to start off with the feelings this time. How is the collective feeling? Okay. We got happy. We got no. And we got respectful. All right, so that no could be telling you it's not the time right now. But be happy. Be happy. Be blissful. Be in the energy of joy. All right? Stay in that energy. How is the collective spirit feeling? All right. Some of y'all may be feeling lonely. And bored and discouraged as well. We got angry on the bottom of discouraged. Let's see. All right, so with this respectful, let me, some of y'all. Let me see. Let me clarify this respectful. Okay. We got the six of wands. So. Hmm. 
Six of Wands talk about being victorious, getting that recognition. So people may may respect you at this time. People may be looking up to you at this time and you may not even know it. It may not be the time for you to have everything that you are desiring because there's still some things you need to tweak. Like I said, you need to get out of that boredom, that loneliness, and stop feeling discouraged and get back into that happy energy. It's not the time. You have to wait on divine timing, so don't rush things. got the Queen of Pentacles. You got the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> and then you have the Ten of Swords. So there may have been some betrayal. It may have been some betrayal from a man, <laughs> a guy, a masculine energy that may have have you discouraged, feeling discouraged that they may have. I'm getting that this could be past energy, but the feminine energy I feel are more made basically focusing on their coin but you have this masculine energy coming in slowly but surely coming in with a solid offer and this offer will be definitely be victorious so what are the messages do you have and even if you're you're in like the same sex situ and same sex relationship well, whoever has the most dominant masculine energy, that's who we're talking about right now. All right, so <laughs> we got the tower. I just shuffled again. We got the tower at the bottom. And then we have the hangman. So some chaos or some shit went down that changed this masculine's perspective and now they're seeing in a different light so if you have like relationship problems or thinking that someone's not coming in to try to be with you they coming they coming slowly and surely they trying to put everything together all right you just have to focus on you like it says nourish your mind body and spirit focus on your coin don't let that betrayal don't let that betrayal have you sitting in a lonely spot don't don't dwell on that like if you if you feel some type of way feel it and then let it go feel it and release it cry and release it all right don't sit and wait for shit to happen you see how he's sitting in that chair waiting for time to just go by it's going to go by slow if you wait so that's why it's always good to focus on yourself it's good to focus on yourself do what makes you happy do what makes you happy at this time because in order for those new beginnings to come in you have to be in the energy of self-love of loving yourself when you love yourself that's when you open doors for a whole bunch of opportunities to come in for you a whole bunch of blessings Ooh, shoot Uh, 
And after this reading, I might do another reading tomorrow. Well, I will do another reading tomorrow because you know I said I'm doing, I'm posting a video every day. <laughs> so tomorrow I have a pick a pal for relationships. So you can see what these people are um, feeling, your person is feeling about you. All right, so you may have some interferences at this time that are stopping you from getting to the new beginning. All right. <laughs> then you have the therapist and then you have the ace of pentacles. And the queen of cups and the therapist I feel like is saying to find something that helps you cope not cope but find something that helps you go within find something that helps you go within to help you find a better perspective of how you should handle things talk to somebody you trust that could help you with these issues all right <laughs> and look you have the king of wands underneath that and that's a man that's coming towards you with passion okay so if you've been having relationship problems or having a problem period just know this person is coming in with a full cup of love and a full cup of joy for you because they have been put to the test they have the judgment they have judgment they have the judgment call like the divine is really here and they're protecting this connection they're protecting this connection that you're in you just have to trust it you just have to You just have to see what needs to be done. Like sometimes it's not just them. What you do for yourself, you do for your, your, if you ever heard of a twin flame, you do for your twin. It's, it's different, it's a lot deeper than a soulmate. When you heal yourself, you heal your partner. Um, everybody's not on this journey, twin flame journey. But let's get back to the cards. You have the Ace of Discs, which is the Ace of Pentacles. Um, this is telling me that money definitely won't be an issue. This is telling me money won't be an issue. So if you've been having money problems, you need to sit down and figure out a better way to, you know, fix those issues so you can get, you know, the rewards that you really deserve. interfering with you guys everything's better when you're high everything's better when you're high Y'all, I'm just so ready for this vegan journey of mine. What is this interference? I 
I got love in reverse. So something I usually don't take these in reverse, but so I'm gonna just take it up right. So love it's a love situation that's interfering with your happiness. Interfering with your money. Interfering with this new beginning. So focus on nourishing your mind. Look, money was on the bottom. Focus on your um Focus on yourself and focus on bettering yourself and the changes you can make for yourself. When you focus on yourself, you don't have to worry about somebody coming after you because they're going to come. If they're meant to be in your life, they're going to be there. All right. And if not, they're going to be gone. And that's what you need them to be gone because if somebody's not for you, if somebody's not for you, then that's the indicator right there. You need to let them go. They need to be gone. So don't be afraid to let go of those people who you may have attachments to. All right, All right. I really don't need this anymore. Look at that. Before I put it down, look at that. <laughs> Just grabbing it. All right. So these was on the bottom. You got doctor, you got lord, and you got journey. All right. Your masculine, the dude or guy or masculine energy that you're dealing with, they're healing at this time and they're on their own journey. So you have to give them that space to to you know learn what you learned on your spiritual journey it's a lot of like the way you may think they don't think okay guys think in a different way and they go through their journey in a different way they may not be as you know as in tune like you are all right let's see what else let me get another card from this deck so they're on their own journey and they're healing so you have to focus on yourself heal yourself because when you heal yourself like i said you heal the person that is meant for you because they're going to realize they need to change within themselves because they're going to want you they're they probably want you now you just don't know what and when you procrastinate, they procrastinate. All right, can I get one more? Yeah, so you may have love issues, money issues, and that's getting in the way of this healing. So you need to go within yourself. You got the hermit. Go within yourself. And you have the queen of pentacles. You got her twice. Queen of this twice. Focus on your money. Focus on your abundance. Focus on being that high class, that top notch, that bad and bougie. You know? Be 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 in the energy of abundance. Be in that energy of receiving what you deserve be in that energy like you already got it in the bag sis sir be in that energy because it's already there it's already written for you to have you just gotta go and get it you just gotta you just gotta show source you gotta show whoever you believe in that you ain't here to make a fool of yourself you here to become who you really are and show the fuck out okay you here to show the fuck out. Alright, so let's get 
It may not be time right now, like I said, because you got some things you need to assess. You got some things you need to change. You need to go inside yourself to figure out what it is. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with others because at the end of the day, y'all both going, y'all both are on a journey. Everybody's on a journey. Respect people's, you know, growth. Respect people's growth because when, when you do that, Time, time flies by, and before you know it, both of y'all are healed. Well, not fully healed. We're never fully healed, but you're healed enough to come back together. All right. Let's get three of these. You know I love these, and you know I'm going to read these out of the book. So when I read these out of the book, I'm going to pause the music. Because, you know, I got to get the message out. And then I will give some information. I will give some information. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective? Making sure we're still rolling. What messages do you have for the collective? All right, that's another one. Oop. I got seed of the heart so far, and I got across the waters. Well, you back on your BS, okay? Back up on your bull. All right, I'll take that. It came out. And then you got the heart of the moment at the bottom. But we just gonna talk about these three. You got 25, 23, 15, and then you have 16 on the heart. So if those numbers resonate with you in a way, we got 16 twice. We got 16 on the step in the power, stepping in your power, and then we got 16 on this card. So 16, 16 could be a meaningful synchronicity for you to go look up so don't be afraid go and check out the meaning of the number 1616 all right so i'm gonna just cut the music down and i'm going to read sorry if you hear gunshots in the back it's call of duty <laughs> all right so we got the seat of the heart 25 let's see And this shows, look, some of them ain't had no real one in the shows, okay? All right, so. All right, so this card is saying, the seed of the heart is saying, the right conditions are being brought to you. The most perfect support for your own divine blossoming. Trust. Where trust at? Where at? I know we, we had it. Oh, trust. Look, trust. Trust, know that the seed in your heart knows how to grow and life supports it. Like I said, spirit is supporting you. Spirit is protecting you. All right. So you are protected. So go full force for what you want. All right. It is also a sign that something in your relationships is sprouting a new energy. Don't be afraid to try new ways of relating now as your life energy supports it. All right. It comes with a poem at the end. I'm feeling guided to read the poems, you know. So it's saying, when sky can imagine the dark awake and all light pervades and bears the vast tranquil mystery, softly caressing the blue bowl birth. All right. So don't be afraid to try new things don't be afraid to be in a different energy fuck what anybody say about you changing up switching up doing something different because it's meant for you to do different things because how can you grow if you stay the same how can you grow if you continue to do the same things every single day you just stay in a routine and routine is nice but only if you switch it up after a while you can only grow 
if you switch it up after a while. You can't, you can't, you can't grow in any way if you stay the same. A routine is nice and it's okay, but do something out of the, no, out of the ordinary. All right, that show that that gives the creator that puts attention onto you, so they can see okay. They really, they really doing what they say they gonna do. Let's let's give them these blessings now. They learned the lesson. All right, so now we gotta cross the waters. Um, all right, it's saying it is time to think about something in a different light. Soon you will have a shift in perspective. Remember this. The hangman, when I said the emperor, the guy, the male energy, and the feminine energy may be having a perspective change. All right. Um, soon you will have a shift in perspective and the feeling of overwhelmed stress and just too much going on will be replaced with serene trust and peacefulness. Know that beneath even the most chaotic mind in a place of deep, quiet serenity within. Do whatever helps you dive deep to find it. Dance, take some rest, meditate, do yoga, write, paint, make love, make music. You do it, you know, spirits say do it all. Do it all. Do what makes what makes you happy. Alright? Do what makes you happy because you deserve that happiness whatever it is that you love doing do it don't be scared all right in that quiet serenity within you will be leaving unnecessary chaos behind and you will be presented with the gift of a new way forward you will be presented with this new beginning i'm leaving this look i was gonna leave this on my on, on my stand right here i'm leaving this here because you know what we getting the blessings y'all we are opening the doors so move forward. You about to, if you're not feeling that energy of, of, of abundance right now, like I am, look, I done cried this week. I done cried. It's only Tuesday. I already done cried, all right? I let it all out. And now I already know what's next, and that's abundance. That's what I'm working towards, what I, what I deserve. So get into that bag. Go within yourself sit with yourself and come up out of it don't be afraid i wasn't got it to read that one so let's keep going we got the mother praise all right it says this oracle brings you guidance ask for help from the divine mother who loves you unconditionally ask each day she wants to help you and you have to ask for that help to empower her to do so. You have her great blessing. All right? Ask. Ask for spirit to assist you on this journey. Ask. Ask and you shall receive. Don't be afraid. All right? So if you if you've been feeling doubtful, lonely, bored, discouraged about a situation, angry about a situation, you need to let it go. Have hope. Keep having faith because change is right around the corner. Those blessings are right around the corner. Step into your power. Don't be afraid to sit with yourself. It may get ugly, you may cry, cry it out. But do that because you need to, all right? Nothing is nothing in this world you can't overcome. There's nothing in this world you can't overcome, all right? Peace out and holla at your girl. Psych, I forgot to give y'all the affirmations. I can't forget the affirmations. So we're going to go ahead and dig and get the affirmations for y'all, all right? We're going to get these affirmations. All right. I got one that fell out, one that fell out over here, and I got one in my hand. All right. The first one is saying, I am creatively inspired by the world around me. I'll repeat it again. 
I am creatively inspired by the world around me. Get inspired. Look at things that you, at people that you admire. Get some inspiration. All right, and the next one. I am courageous and I stand up for myself. I'm gonna repeat that again. I am courageous and I stand up for myself. Last but not least, I am blessed with an incredible family and wonderful friends. I am blessed with an incredible family and wonderful friends. I'm gonna get another one, all right? Since I almost forgot. <laughs> All right, I can do these all day. I love affirmations. All right. All right, we got to fill in the blank one, okay? So fill in the blank at the end, all right? It says, I am confident in my ability to... What are you confident in? I am confident in my ability to... Whatever comes to your mind instantly, you know? I am confident in my ability to get the message out, help those who need it. I am confident in my ability to succeed in whatever I believe in and whatever I believe I can do. I'm confident. What are you confident in? All right, holla at your girl. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out those links in the description box from Tabitha Brown and the Twin Flame Family. I can't even speak. The Twin Flame Family, all right? I'm out. I'll see y'all tomorrow with this Pick a Power Relationship Edition. All right, y'all have a good one. Good night.